Welcome to Natalie's Bakery, episode two. We're joined by the awesome Peter Affelbaum today. Hi. <laughs> and um, we're making flourless Mexican chocolate cake, um, which is um, kind of cool because we grew up making lots of Mexican hot chocolate. Um, when my parents would go out on tour, Peter would stay with us, and Mexican hot chocolate was kind of a ritual. So we've got that kind of theme going on today. Peter, I think you're, you're missing your apron. Oh, yeah. He's got an apron that he's been waiting 10 years to don. That's right. And um, this is his first cake ever, so give him a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. This apron is one of the things that I got um, when I was on tour with Trey Anastasio, and it's an official fish apron, which I've been waiting years to put to use. <laughs> awesome. All right, so we're going to start. Um, right now we've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We've got a little double boiler action, action happening here. We've got two uh, sticks of butter already melting, and we're going to add some um, bittersweet chocolate that Peter has chopped up. So Peter, why don't you just add that in? Okay. And we're melting the chocolate. There awesome. it goes. Here, I'll take that. And so yeah, we're just going to stir the chocolate until it melts. Um, let's use your awesome doohickey. Okay. Cool. This is one of one. It's my special Mexican chocolate pulverizer. <laughs> so we're going to pulverize the chocolate. It is one of man's first inventions. It's also a whisk. Now? Yeah. <laughs> so once everything is melted pretty evenly, we've got this mixture here of unsweetened cocoa, a quarter cup, then three tablespoons of ancho chili powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add that to our chocolatey mixture as soon as it's ready. Perfect. So we're going to remove it from the heat now, which I'm going to do very carefully. And then, Peter, if you could help me, I'm going to hold this for you. Okay. Dump that other chocolatey mixture into. into it, and then stir it together. Great. Great. Alright, let's set this aside for a second. Put it back on the boiler. And now we're going to start with, um, we've separated six eggs. So we've got just the yolks here, and we're going to whisk that together with um, a half cup of sugar and it's a very whiskey recipe you'll you'll realize <laughs> and yeah peter i guess you've got some whisking chops so let's see let's do that whisk this together until it's all combined okay chocolate mixture? Yeah, although first we're going to make a meringue with the sugar, so um, maybe you can add, um, help me add the sugar gradually okay. to this mixture. Okay. 
Well, it's very powdery. <laughs> really? <laughs> <coughs> Fog of sugar happening right now. It's in the air. I feel like I'm in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna fold this meringue mixture into the batter really gently. So, um, have you ever folded something into something else before? Uh, not with my knowledge. <laughs> so maybe we'll switch, and you'll be the pour, and I'll do the folding. Excellent. Okay. So we want to just have them combine and just add it gradually, like a little bit at a time. Okay. So just pour like a bit at first and then I'll kind of try not to deflate from my reaction. Okay, great. That's perfect. <laughs> Alright. I think we're ready to pour this into the pan and get it in the oven. Are you guys hungry yet? <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to stick this in the oven for about 45 minutes.